This year's Met Gala has displayed opulence and glamour like never before. Most people have now witnessed Rihanna's Pope dress and Ariana Grande's Sistine Chapel themed outfit. However, it was the first time that the event also boasted a contingent of celebrities, including Paris Jackson and Stella McCartney, who used the occasion to propagate their cause, sustainable fashion. Now, there's certainly something icky about the rich and powerful preaching about the ecological issues, veganism, etc. But these campaigners have in fact taken some structural steps to improve the industry standards. Fashion Revolution Week that happened in April will now be a yearly event demanding more transparency and better conditions for garment workers across the globe. Around 75 million people, predominantly women, work in fashion and textiles and only 10% of them have the possibility of negotiating wages or conditions. Many workers at the bottom of the chain are subject to exploitation, verbal and physical abuse working in unsafe conditions with very little pay. Recycling clothes, sustainable fabrics, better worker conditions, these are issues proudly worn at the Met Gala and will hopefully inspire brands to follow the fashion. In the midst of all this, I couldn't help but wonder why are the tech and games industries so quiet about these matters in their own glamorous awards? The Games Baftas just happened and while the games industries clicks are self-congratulating themselves over innovative level designs and thought-provoking narratives, the workers in the global south who produce the tools necessary for, the for these creations are under sustained attack by their factory owners. Suicides at Foxconn plants in China where Dell, HP and Apple products are made are a regular occurrence and yet the big names profiteering from these technologies will not stand up for these populations. It's not often that I learn lessons from the ethics and fashion industry, but as of right now, they are doing pioneering work in bridging the divide between the benefactors of cheap labor and the workers producing it. Instead of daydreaming about gaming gala, pixelated gowns and Super Mario ties, organize for the much harder but meaningful work of giving back. It's the final boss, but it's crucial to overcome.